Hi everyone and welcome back to Ivy Ellen's Tips and Tutorials page. Today we'll be showing you how to create a belly band wedding invitation. This is our peacock wash design. You can see it's got a band, a ribbon and a tag. These are really modern and contemporary and great for holding extra information. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is check that you have all the correct parts to make your belly band. This includes the printed invitation, which comes with rounded or square corners, your band, which will be trans clear or coloured, your ribbon or twine, depending on which design you've chosen, the tag, which has got your name and wedding date on it, and a clear round sticker. These will come in large sheets. Okay, so the first step, let's move these to one side, pop your band in the centre of your table. You then take your wedding invitation and put it face down on top of the band. Fold the band so you can see they meet in the middle. You then take your clear round sticker and secure that band in place, like so. That's the first step. Next step, you need your ribbon and your tag. You can see here it's got a small hole. We're going to thread that ribbon through. So a top tip is if you fold your ribbon in half, you'll get a pointy end, which is easy to push through that hole. We're going to thread this through until it's halfway along the ribbon. Okay, so now, Bring your invitation back and you want to pop this on top of your band. Pop it in the middle and lift up your wedding invitation with the band. You then flip it over and pull both across the back. They should cross over slightly, like so. You then flip it back over again and you should now have two loose ends and the band in the middle. This is where we need to tie a ribbon. So you want to take your left piece and cross it over and underneath the right. Pull upwards and you can see you've got one bit coming down and one bit going up with a knot in the middle. Keep hold of that, keep it nice and tight. So now you take your bottom piece and form a loop. You can see here I'm holding the loop whilst keeping that knot tight. You then take your top strand and pull it round and push it through the hole which should be here. You then pull it through and you can see you've got a really rough bow. So what we do is you just need to tweak this really. So if you hold the knot in the middle you can tweak each strand to get that perfect bow that you want. Okay?